Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Embraer upgrades the Phenom 300E, EAA Young Eagles program reaches a new milestone, and a whistleblower alleges misconduct at FAA Honolulu FSDO. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Embraer is upgrading its Phenom 300 series of business jets with an array of new improvements. The Phenom 300E is now the first single pilot jet to reach Mach 0.8, offering a quieter cabin and upgrades to its avionics. The Phenom 300E now delivers a high-speed cruise of 464 knots and a five-occupant range of 2,010 nautical miles with NBAA IFR reserves. The Phenom 300E's avionics upgrade includes a runway overrun awareness and alerting system, predictive wind shear, emergency descent mode, perf, told, FAA data com and many others. The runway overrun awareness and alerting system acts as an additional pilot and warns if the aircraft's approach is too steep or fast, increasing situational awareness. The predictive wind shear warns pilots about wind shear conditions in advance to help them prepare and maneuver the airplane in order to best minimize adverse conditions. Deliveries of the new Phenom 300E with these enhancements will begin in May. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Finally, a modern, affordable four-seater without compromise. Turbocharged Rotax 915IS power, 155-knot cruise, 800-nautical-mile range, 1,000 feet per minute climb, and all that at 8 gallons per hour. Don't compromise. Check out the Sling TSI today at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. Safety recommendation A-07-112 has been implemented by the FAA. The recommendation on the board's 10 most wanted list was issued following the NTSB's investigation of two helicopter emergency medical services flight crashes that involved low altitude flight during night visual meteorological conditions. The safety recommendation called for the FAA to ensure the minimum equipment list for emergency medical services operations helicopters require radar altimeters be operable during flights conducted at night. The International Brotherhood of Teamsters filed a lawsuit against Express Jets Airlines, a United Express carrier, in a federal district court in Atlanta. The lawsuit alleges the company triggered a major dispute under the Railway Labor Act when it unilaterally offered a bonus program to attract new airframe and power plant mechanics while it was negotiating with the union over fair pay rates for those workers. The lawsuit also alleges the company violated the RLA by offering recruitment bonuses to mechanics without bargaining with the union about those changes. Whirly Girls International announced new recipients for the 2020 Whirly Girls Scholarship Awards. The scholarships were awarded back on January 26th at the Whirly Girls Annual Awards Banquet during HII Heli Expo in Anaheim, California. Thanks to the support of aviation leaders, 23 scholarships were bestowed upon deserving aviators with a total value of over $135,000. Bombardier sold two Learjet 75 Liberty aircraft to North Dakota-based Fargo Jet Center. The aircraft are to be converted to medevac configurations and delivered to air ambulance service providers in Warsaw, Poland. Bombardier will enter the Learjet 75 Liberty into service this year. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. 
The EAA's Young Eagles program has surpassed 2.2 million kids. Flown since the program's first flights took place at the 1992 EAA Flying Convention in Oshkosh. More than 50,000 EAA member pilots have donated their time, aircraft, and fuel to fly kids over the past 27 years, with an equal number of ground volunteers assisting the program. Flights have taken place all over the world, and in aircraft ranging from hot air balloons to corporate jets. Young Eagles began in response to a survey of EAA members, who overwhelmingly stated that getting young people involved in aviation was the most important issue to ensure the future of recreational flight. On this accomplishment, Jack Pelton, EAA CEO and chairman of the board, stated, As we reach each of these milestones, it's a further credit to the dedication of the EAA member pilots and volunteers who have committed their time and aircraft to bringing young people into aviation. To every pilot and ground volunteer who has been a part of Young Eagles, the aviation community thanks you. U.S. Senator Roger Wicker, chairman of the U.S. Senate Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation is highlighting information the committee received from whistleblowers alleging misconduct by managers working for the FAA in the Hawaii Flight Standards District Office. The initial whistleblower, an FAA employee, alleged FAA managers too frequently overrode the recommendations of inspectors, hampering the ability of inspectors to conduct effective oversight. The whistleblower also alleged at least one manager issued improper check ride certifications. The whistleblower indicated their knowledge was indirect, but well known by local employees and representatives of the Professional Aviation Safety Specialist Union. Wicker has sent a letter to DOT IG, Calvin Scoville, to express concern and request a thorough investigation into the allegations received from the whistleblower. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you tomorrow.